It's okay to not know things. I've started to notice that there is this way that we shame ourselves when we don't have the answers in the world, like when we don't know what the next step is. And um, I personally think it comes from, at least in my childhood, so you may have a different one, but I have one where, did you ever have your parents say this to you? You should have known better. How could you not know what to do here? And that is like the perfect form of shaming somebody, right? So like, first of all, you're a kid. I was a kid. And second of all, like, there's a lot of things in this world to not know. I mean, even as an adult, so now I'm not a kid anymore. I've learned a few things, been around the bend. But even as an adult, there are things that I don't know. There's, there's situations, like for example, um, when you go through a chronic illness and you don't know what the illness is. It's an example in adulthood where you don't know things and it's not, you're not going to know things for a while. And so one of the ways that we need to help people, our kids and ourselves is to recognize this as a shame trigger of like, how could I not know? Because it, it's interesting. I think what people are saying then in response is how could you be so stupid? How could you, how could you like hear it, hear this accusatory language that you might be using in your own head. Some of it may have come from childhood. Some of it may have been like just something you kind of developed over time, but I'm challenging you to develop a different mindset and a different way of talking to yourself, which is it's okay to not know things. Sometimes the answers unfold over time. I've got to say, now that I've done this adult thing for a while, like there is a lot of life that looks like that, that basically is you're not going to know it for a while. You just observe, orient. Actually, there's this thing called the Una loop. Observe, orient, decide, act. There are times in this world where you just need to observe and orient, and you're going to have to do that for a while because you just don't have enough of the pieces yet to solve the puzzle. Like the pieces will unfold as time passes. So I'm challenging you to recognize this as a shame center and challenge it. Nope, I'm not going to treat myself bad because I don't know what to do next and just really support yourself with loving language, which sounds like okay to not know things. Observe until you get more information. All right, if you would like to see me as a therapist, please contact me at therapistinstlouis.com. You can submit a contact form or you can also uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos.